Hey there, I'm Marisa. I'm Max. Scott. <laughs> <laughs> and this is another episode of Fork You. Today we're in my friend Una's kitchen. Ah, uh, Una's kitchen. Una's kitchen. And we are doing our extravaganza Thanksgiving episode. That's right. This is part one, of one. Three. Three. Today we'll be cooking a turkey on an outdoor turkey cooker. That's right. This is the centerpiece of any Thanksgiving meal. That's right. And if you screw it up, your family will disown you. We're going to get going with the turkey here. What we have done is we brined it overnight in a combination uh, of salt and sugar and spices. And it's in the refrigerator. Get that turkey, Scott. Ah. If you can. Oh. It's in a giant plastic bag. <laughs> this is a great tip if you want to brine your turkey and you don't have a pot that's big enough to do it in. You can put the liquid in a big plastic Ziploc bag or, yes, the black bag. They, um, they make these for storing, like, sweaters and stuff. We used ours for turkey brining. Yeah. And so, I recommend you double bag it. Yes, because we, we did have some leave. leakage here. Nice. Oh, always, <laughs> always double bag it to prevent leakage. <laughs> All right. How are we going to get this out? I'm going to roll up my sleeves. We'll have the brining solution Ooh, of the uh, recipe later. Um, yes, online. Online. Where else would we have it? Well... Check the uh, printed version of the 4 magazine that you get for the, <laughs> for the full recipe. <laughs> Alright, let's... Oh okay, lift the pan. With, with your knees. And this is fully cooked. You could just eat this right now. I need to give the turkey just a little rinse off to get some of the because there's a lot of spices in here right now and we don't want it to be, like, have whole peppercorns on it when we cook it. All right. The point with brine is to give it flavor and it, the, the salt um, makes the meat more tender, mm. which is especially important since we're gonna put it outside and cook it over high heat on this crazy upright turkey cooker from Orion Cookers. Orion, um, isn't it? Orion? Orion. Orion. Ori I thought it was Orion. Anyway, now we have our turkey rinsed off. It's been brined. It's all ready to go. How long do you have to be mentioned? How long did it, you have to brine it overnight? Um, we did it overnight. Anywhere from 12 to 24 hours is best for brining. But if you only have four or five hours to do it, it's still <laughs> recommended. Oh. What? Huh? Yes, you oh. should. Hmm. You should still, because it'll still improve it. And Brining is one of the one of those things that you can expand and do with a lot of different poultry. You could and and beef as well. But like you could um, brine your chickens before you roast them. It's a great tip. So here's our o Orion turkey cooker, or Orion cooker. So you can see down here that we have some wood chips to give it flavor, and then hardwood charcoal around the outside. You wanna? Is that the way it goes? Yeah. Or should it be the other way? I guess, I guess. <laughs> Either way is good. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Alright, there goes our turkey. This is a 12 pounder, but you can cook up to 20 pound turkeys in this, in this sucker. Um, so we put this on here. Okay, and we have to fill the top. We fill this cylinder. And then you put uh, some uh, charcoal lighter on. This is probably way too much. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, oh we've got fire. When you are doing this at home, <laughs> you might want to start with the top. Nothing says Thanksgiving, like cooking with a big steel thing on fire. There oh. we go. There you go. I love the sound it's making. I know. This is so cool! Now we're going to unveil what the heck is in here. We haven't checked it because that breaks the convection Yes, you don't seal. want to destroy the convection. So hopefully it's not burnt horribly. Alright, so ready? Oh. Let's do it together. Oh. Whoa! That actually looks really good. good. <laughs> okay. Wow. That looks wow. Uh, awesome. Whoa. <laughs> Dude. That's a beautiful bird. Wow. <laughs> Give us a taste. Oh my god. Is it not overcooked? It's really good. Do you want to taste? Oh yes. You be <laughs> You got it. 
Mm. It is quite smoky. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to put it down and I'll poke at it some more? <laughs> Always say yes to that. Whoa. Check that out. Mm. Wow. Mm. That's one juicy bird. Oh, I God. This I may know. be the way to go. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, that's good. Yeah. Now we have what seems to be the best turkey ever. The best turkey ever. Um, and now we're okay. going to fry this. <laughs> Um, what you see here is four cups of liquid from the turkey cooker. And the first maybe inch is fat, but then everything else in here is gorgeous yummy juices that we're going to use to, um, you could use. We're not going to make gravy today, but if you were going to make gravy, you could use all these juices and that would be so good. We've come to the end of our first of three episodes about Thanksgiving. That's right. The centerpiece, the, the key ingredient of any successful Thanksgiving dinner is the turkey. And we have used a, a lovely cooker from Orion to make the perfect smoked turkey. And now, Marisa is going to share with you some turkey carving hints. Now, I am not an expert at this, so... Marisa's um, turkey carving hint? Get somebody else to carve the turkey. You know, you can do the thing where you cut the whole breast out and then slice it on the bias that way. Um, I'm not going to. I'm just going to... Because that's for uh, dummies. Give it a little cut here. Oh, look at that meat. Oh boy, <laughs> Sorry. All right. It's so juicy. It's really juicy. We did brine this bird though, so that did yeah. help. But the cooker is oh, responsible, along with the smoking pellets. I don't think pellets. we cooked this too long. I don't think we cooked this too long either. And it's a little pink, but don't be concerned. That's just what comes with... I'm such an expert at this. That comes more from the smoking effect. Uh, you know, it's yes. like here, we got this great color on the outside, and... Um, it, the pink is from the smoke, not from being underdone. It's really good. All right, so it's moist, a little smoky. I like my turkey, like I like my women. I'm a, a an avowed carnivore, but what do you think about it? It's sort of cruel. It's gross. <laughs> I know. Oh well. But it's tasty, so I think I blame the turkey for being so damn tasty. All right. Ben Franklin was enamored with the turkey, and actually suggested that America's symbol should be a turkey. Uh, the national other, bird. other people did not agree, and so we have the bald eagle, which is mm. almost as delicious, but harder to catch. I declare this fork you turkey a success. I do too. Go Orion Cookers. That's right, and we'll have uh, their website will be right down here, so you can go check it out. Uh, well worth the hundred and fifty dollars retail we think it is. It's about uh, how much it costs. You need to. Well, one thing though, you do need an outdoor space to cook it in. If you don't have an outdoor space, uh, don't get an Orion. Cooker. That's why we're here today, as opposed to at Fork You Studios. So, this has been another episode of Fork You. I'm Marisa. I'm Scott. And remember, turkey plus charcoal equals moist. We'll see you again next time. Oh, moist. Moist. You're free. Woohoo! Fork You. <laughs>